Coach, watching this one from uh, ice level, looked like one of your team's better defensive efforts of the season. What did you see and what was working? Sticks were real good. Um, we had stick on puck, and you play against a team like that, you need to dislodge some pucks. And, um, you know, we were engaged physically, certainly, but our, our sticks were there first, and we got pucks out of dangerous areas and off of key players' sticks, obviously. Um, they got guys that can shoot, can score. Um, you know, Alex uh, Ovechkin, obviously. But he didn't have the puck a lot tonight because we were getting it off people's sticks. So, um, yeah, we were real happy with that end. Uh, perfect way to start the game. <clears throat> two goals, two shots. Yeah, we talked before the game that they haven't played for a while, and we've had the same type of situation when Vancouver came to us. Mm -hmm. And we had some days off, and they rolled in from a game, and you just you just you just slide right into the next game, and we we definitely had our legs, and they didn't <clears throat> early, um, and sure, I mean obviously getting up, you know, right away was was a key. Yeah, those controlled breakouts. I mean, we don't see them work a ton. <laughs> you know, like where the defense is sitting behind the net for ten seconds, yeah. and actually it turns into a goal. And then do, you know. and we thought Greeny did a great job of not only, you know. Obviously, the the end result of chipping the puck to to act, but he kind of lost himself a little bit and moved. And a lot of times, you just stand. And so, yeah, I mean, like you said, it doesn't work out a lot, but uh, when it does, it it looks nice. A game like this, a reminder that they're not just a checking matchup line. I mean, it's a line that can get matched up against. Yeah, and you know, I think we talked about it when we were on the the home stand. There is that. You know, we, we liked playing them against, you know, top lines clearly. And we get out here and we're just going to roll lines and, you know, get what we get. And it probably frees them up a little bit. Um, but having said that, I, they're not changing their game regardless of what happens. So, um, But it's nice for guys that do the dirty work, do the grinding, do the checking um, to get rewarded sometimes too. You're so often about going... You already have that. I mean, how much do you just kind of look forward now to maybe getting a little bit greedy here and, and making a, a good road trip into a great road trip? We'll get ready for the next one, you know. Um, yeah, we've liked how we played. There's a lot of things we can reinforce, um, but we're, you know, we've got obviously a great team coming up and. Um, you know, we'll work on that one first. When was there a shift, Dean, maybe where that line turned from a shutdown line that was going to go up there to stifle the opposition <clears> to <throat> they can score and that's how they can defend is not defend? Was there was a point last season, maybe? No, I don't think so. I think, I think you know, our philosophy as a as a team, as an organization, we we don't ask anyone just to check, and we don't ask anyone, you know, just to be goal scorers. Like our goal scorers have to defend, and um, you know, you, I think you see some teams where they're pulling people off because they don't trust their offensive guys to play defense against top lines. We we don't do that. Um, we've never done that. Um, from the start, and hopefully it, it empowers the group to either play offense or play defense, which whichever it is. So um, I just know as a ex player, you, you don't want to be pulled off of a, a situation on the ice because you know the coaching staff feels that you can't get the job done. I want to, I want them to feel that I can get the job done. So um, that's what we try to do as a staff. You 